What's up everybody? This is Damien with Hotch Online and I wanted to give a quick tutorial on how to use Mobile Odin. If you're like me and you like flashing ROMs, I flash ROMs sometimes on a daily basis. You can always do it the old-fashioned way of tethering, you know, to your computer and uh, with the case with the Epic 4G Touch using Odin or uh, if you're not on an ice cream sandwich ROM, you can always just boot into Clockwork Recovery and flash that way. But with these ice cream ROMs for the uh, Epic 4G Touch, you can't flash an ice cream ROM from an ice cream sandwich uh, recovery. You need to do it through either you know Odin or Mobile Odin. Mobile Odin is a time saver definitely is a time saver and uh, I'm gonna give you just a quick uh, example on how to use Mobile Odin. First uh, there'll be links down below on how you where, where to go to download Mobile Odin and the Clockwork Mod recovery file. Uh, so first I use FX Explorer. Uh, I also use Root, Root Explorer but I like FX File Explorer a little bit better but um, they're both great apps either one of them will work. I've already downloaded my um, Clockwork Mod Flash and uh, Mobile Odin. Now for each device you will need something called the Mobile Odin Flash Kernel. Uh, it's device specific so you, um, there will be links below to where to go and uh, download those files also but I've already done that so we're gonna skip that process um, but this is how you flash first you wanna flash your mobile Odin flash kernel so we're flashing that and that is successful now we wanna back out of this and flash our mobile Odin It's important to flash the flash kernel first because if you don't want to allow the super user request, it's important to flash the flash kernel first because if you don't do that, uh, Mobile Odin will it'll tell you when you first power up the app that you're missing something. And if you're using the light version like me, then it's you you know you'll have to download it manually. But if you have the premium version, which you should get because this is a great app and, um, you know, supports your developers, uh, which I will eventually. But right now I'm just using the light version. Uh, you know, it's, it's everything's a lot easier if you, not that it's hard, but it's a whole lot easier if you download the premium version. So this is the mobile Odin light. You'll see the mobile Odin light version 2.30 is what I'm running, uh, depending on when you're viewing this video. Who knows where it might be by the end. Uh, you want to scroll down to open file. Choose, I think I have it on my external SD card. So we're going to choose that. And it scans. Sometimes it scans for a while. So we'll come back after it scans. Okay, we're finally back and it's through, it's finished scanning. When it's scanning, don't panic. It takes a while. Uh, this time, it it, didn't, it took maybe three or four minutes. Be prepared to wait up to five minutes depending on how much you have on your SD card or internal memory if you stored it in your internal memory because you can't flash it from your internal memory. But um, so here we are at uh, my files, and you, as you can see, the first file is our stock Clockwork Mod uh, EL26 uh, tar. So we're gonna select that, and it's gonna take us back to that main screen. Now we're going to go to scroll down some more to the very bottom, and see that Flash Firmware? We're gonna select Flash Firmware. 
flashing firmware is dangerous may cause your device un uh, may make your device un unusable I'm sorry continue at your own risk are you sure you want to continue yes MD5 signatures we've already verified the MD5 signature so we're going to skip that and we're going to let it flash this is going to take a few minutes also but um, when it finishes flashing it's going to restart the device when restarting the device we're going to hold volume up and power and hold that down until we're in actual clockwork mod so we'll, re we'll, we'll return back when it, when it does this after it's done its thing after it's done its thing for a while it's late guys okay so now it's flashing the kernel and it has restarted so we're going to hold up volume up and power you're going to keep that held in for what seems like forever no really it don't it only takes a second or so and it restarted again that's normal don't panic and we should be clockwork mod and right now I'm running Midge's uh, slim and trim ROM version 1.6 so you know regular we're gonna update to the 1.7 that was released uh, yesterday so you know all this is the same oh if you're using the epic 4g touch then you know you have to do the volume up key down up and it to be able to enable the power button as the selection tool so we'll go scroll down to white cache partition and we will wipe that bad boy and that should only take a second and down to advance so that we may watch why uh, uh wipe the delvic and um we'll wipe the delvic cache and then we will go back install zip from SD card I think it is in my internal so we're going to choose it from internal SD card scroll down and there we go Mrs. Slim and Trim ROM 1.7 zip and we're going to select yes it will flash which won't take long at all as flashing never really does take a while no matter what device you're on but you know that's a basic overview overview on how to use uh, mobile Odin you can get a little bit deeper you know or you can do just what I did in order to be able to flash um, I think you may be able to flash uh, not only kernels maybe modems from there but um, I'm not all the way sure but uh, as you see it's done and it will reboot system and so that you can see that we had success see the Samsung Galaxy S2 boot screen and then Mrs. awesome boot screen animation there you go so it looks like everything was successful um, and we're in business so once again I'm Damien with Hosh Online it's a quick tutorial on how to use mobile Odin no, you didn't get too deep, not too thorough, but just a basic overview if you were like me and just looking for an example. Thanks for tuning in.